Oh, Scorpio. <laughs> it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. Who else? <laughs> I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support for me and the channel. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios. Wishing you all the best and all the happiness in the whole world, you know? Because you deserve it. Um, for those of you that are new, sorry. <laughs> I just get emotional <laughs> when it comes to my Scorpios. Um, thank you so much for, for being here. And uh, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. And if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and hit your notification bell to all. So that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I do two a day for Scorpio and once a week it becomes three. So, with that being said, um, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like so other Scorpios can know about our channel so we can grow by leaps and bounds and we can never have more than enough of Scorpios in one place, right? Um, amazing people, right? Right. If you are wanting a live tarot card reading, I do have a $10 off birthday gift waiting for you, Scorpio. Uh, they are my own hand-picked tarot card readers. Um, they belong to Heart Passion Tarot, which is another one of my channels. Um, there's toll-free numbers for the U.S., the U.K., Canada, and India, okay? All you got to do is just give your birthday or say Scorpio, <laughs> and they'll know to give you $10 off your reading. All right, you can now follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Only the links listed down below. There's not two Instagrams or three or four. There's only one, and it's the one that's listed down below. Um, what else? You can follow me over on Patreon if you want early access to bonus love readings for the sign of Scorpio, or weekly pick a card, or VIP chat. Okay? Okay. Everything that you need is listed down below. Oh, and if you want a personal reading with me, you can only book it through my website and pay for it there. I'll never, like, contact you asking you if you want a reading and to send me money somewhere else. No, it's not me. It's a fake. And for those of you that um, feel compelled to be uh, replying to my people's comments, stop it, please. Okay, with your what's up and your spells and all that kind of stuff. Okay, my Scorpios are hip to what's going on. So stop wasting their time and stop wasting my time and just find somewhere else to go. Right, Scorpio? Right. Um, with that being said, today is November the 9th, right? So let's see what's going on. All right, Scorpio. Here we go, Scorp. I call upon my angels from all four corners of the universe. <laughs> okay, sorry, hold on. Let me go close that. Okay, I'm sorry. I should have turned that off. All right, here we go. <laughs> for Scorpio, for Scorpio, for Scorpio. For November the 9th, please. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Action. Okay, let me lower the volume on this, okay, so people don't disturb. And, of course, it won't let me turn it down all the way. Okay. Action. Do you need to take action or is somebody taking action towards you? Okay, I feel something really wonderful is about to happen, which is going to bring you a lot of pleasure. Okay? I feel, Scorpio, you've done a lot of reflecting. You've done a lot of transformation. Um, you are understanding that it's time to dump this, whatever it is, that you're holding on to, okay? That it's not worth your time anymore to be patient or to be waiting uh, for someone who really doesn't deserve your love, okay? Um, I also feel for a lot of you, you've been doing a lot. Uh, Spirit's giving me different messages. You've been doing a lot and you're getting tired, okay? And Spirit wants you to take action and have more pleasure in your life, okay? You're understanding that, you know, you need a break, okay? You got people needing your help. You're working. You're also trying to do other projects as well. I mean, it's become, you know, you got the house. You got, some of you may have um, kids you need to take care of. And you're realizing, you know what? I need to have some fun too, right, Scorpio? That's what's going on. Okay. Whether you know it or not, spirit is working behind the scenes to bring you enlightenment, to bring you happiness, to bring you love, to bring you abundance. 
You may not, you know, you may not be able to see it with your own eyes, but it's happening. Okay? For my feminines, um, your divine masculine is coming. For my masculines, your divine feminine is being brought to you. Wow. Okay, it's a new beginning for you here, Scorpio. Enjoy it. All right, listen. You have to have the strength and the will to let go of all that past emotional garbage and just charge through. You know, I don't know how else to say it to you. I know you're not fearful, but you know what I mean? After a while, you know, when you've been hurt over and over and over and over and over again, it's kind of like, you know, you don't, you just feel like, you know, it's better to just be by yourself. No, Spirit's saying, no, you're not supposed to be by yourself, Scorpio. Stop it. <laughs> We're bringing you this new beginning. We're bringing you the love of your life, the one that's truly meant to be with you. Scorpio, you're getting married this year. I mean, yeah, something's happening for a lot of you. Um, something that's going to bring you a lot of peace and stability and growth. Somebody that you can actually grow and build with, Scorpio. I don't know where all this is coming from. I'm just, <laughs> whatever they're telling me to tell you. Scorpio. Scorpio. You have the wisdom. You know when somebody's for real or not. Okay? And I feel whoever's coming in your life is for real. They're the real thing. Okay? Spirit's asking you to trust. To trust. Spirit's also telling you to keep healthy boundaries at the same time. Right? Right? But a new path is opening up for you with a person that actually has a lot of gratitude for you and you have a lot of gratitude for them being in your life. If you haven't seen it yet, it's coming. Okay? This is when you start blossoming. This is when everything comes into fruition. When you know what's good for you and what's not good for you. Okay? You may have a choice to make between two. The, the whole thing of it right now, Scorpio, is that do you have the knowledge? Do you have the wisdom to make the right choice? Or are you going to pick somebody um, and repeat the same patterns? It's up to you. Right? Right. For Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. You know I do. I love you, gang gang. For Scorpio. Surrender. If you have any worries. If you're holding back. If you're feeling like running and hiding <laughs> from what's coming to you, don't. Spirit's saying, just surrender. We got you. We got you. We brought you this, right? And we brought you this for a reason. For some of you, it may be for you to love again. For a lot of you, it's to heal your heart, your broken heart. For you to know what it's really like when somebody truly loves you. Yeah, Scorpio. It's going to be different for all of you. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Yeah, see? Okay. Stand in your power, Scorpio. Don't fear of being abandoned or hurt again. Stop. Okay? It's very important that you do this right now. You, you got to get over that. You have somebody who lives at a distance from you. You could be checking them out or they're checking you out right now okay um, you could be resisting reaching out to this person or they could be resisting reaching out to you they're saying this one too Okay, I feel, Scorpio, because they're giving me the message the other way. Somebody's checking you out from a distance who you may have blocked and resisted, okay, um, for your own well-being, for your own nourishment, um, 
for your own protection from somebody who you weren't supposed to be with okay they can check you out all they want right but if it's not good for you 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 have blocked this person okay know that you're protected and everything is going to start blossoming for you like I said you've got a beautiful brand new beginning coming Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy well abundance as well it could be both for you it could be one of the two it could be a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn but I also feel for a lot of you this abundance is coming to you your abundance is blossoming There's somebody who you're really missing, and somebody's missing you. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Yeah. I feel the two of you are not communicating right now, Scorpio. But what I feel is that there's going to be some kind of realization that happens between the two of you. Okay? Which is going to bring the two of you back together. Nothing bad happened. I just feel you kind of just stopped talking. But I feel a realization is going to happen here, either on this person's behalf or on your behalf, that um, that you're really missing them and they're really missing you, and that the two of you should be together. I feel this no communication or separation is what's going to um change things yeah look that changes on the bottom of the deck okay <laughs> scorpio you may be feeling all of them you may be really missing this person this person could be feeling this way too expect the unexpected okay i feel somebody who's very handsome or very beautiful will be reaching out to you again okay Maybe it's just not the right time yet. Maybe that we haven't gotten to that point of realization yet on your behalf and on theirs. Okay? Certain things have to happen first before that aha moment happens. For November the 9th, please. For November the 9th, I call upon my angels. I, ca I caught it. It's in my lap. Scorpio. <laughs> I feel right now for you, Scorpio, it's very important. The love of family, right? Um, loving who you are, giving yourself self-love. Okay, Scorpio, let me see here. Yeah, it says be in the present and dream of the future. Okay, no more in the past. Whatever has happened has happened. You can't change anything, right? It's time to move over. Move on, I mean. Um, move over. Move on. Uh, and slow down a bit. Get yourself some rest. Um, it'll give you time to think and put things in proper perspective. Okay? You need that time alone to think about what you truly want. Right? It'll come to you. Maybe through a dream. Like attracts like. So I feel you both care about each other. But like I said, no one is showing it. And um, For some reason I feel because the two of you are not talking you feel like you may feel like they're not interested in you or they're thinking that you're not interested in them um, maybe you put this person in a friend zone I don't know but your advice is to choose love if you love this person if you have feelings for them you need to express them and maybe the two of you need to actually talk and clear the air Love is all around you. I feel for a lot of you, you're, you're still looking at those cups that were spilt in the past and you're not looking. I mean, love is right there, Scorpio. It's right there. Just got to lift your head up. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, what messages do we have for Scorpio? I love you, Scorpio. Well, Scorpio. Gang, gang. My gang, gang. All right, so you're healing. You're healing. Um, I feel for a lot of you, you're healing. You're also trying to um, manifest your abundance and heal that and make that better as well. Um, 
You know, for some of you, you may feel like you don't have enough when it comes to a particular individual, but there's somebody who you're very attracted to, okay? And you're manifesting right now, okay? I feel a message will come in, or you'll be sending a message that's very true, honest, but communication is going to start between you and an individual again. You may receive a message. Um, there's a spiritual connection here between you and a divine masculine, Scorpio. There is. Wow, new beginning for you. Here you are, Scorpio. You're manifesting this, and you're listening to your intuition that you will come together with your person. All right, let's keep going. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, I saw um, so far. For Scorpio, for Scorpio. Oh, you hate this word. <laughs> I'm going to say divine timing. It's all about divine timing for someone here that's watching. You need to trust. Spirit's saying you need to trust. You need to trust. That a new cycle is beginning in your life with our intervention. Be in peace. Be in peace, Scorpio. I feel that you really have to work on opening up your third eye chakra because the divine has a lot they want to show you. Okay? So you may want to work on that, Scorpio. What else do we have for Scorpio? For Scorpio. For November the 9th. Here we go. Oh. Okay. So whoever you're in love with, they're mirroring you. Okay. Somebody really wants marriage here. Could be both of you. But I feel somebody here is um, wanting to take control to make things happen here. All right. Some of you, you have a love interest that may already be married. They're mirroring you. They love you exactly the same as you love them, but they are being controlled in a, in a marriage. Okay? And that's what's inspiring them to be triggered to choose you. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Caught it. Oh, I love it when they fall in my lap. <laughs> Some of you are taking really, really good care of yourselves. What you're eating, your appearance. You may be working out a lot, trying to get yourself in shape. Okay, a lot of you are not expressing how you feel. Okay, there may be some heartache here too that you need to heal. Um, I feel you need to open up and speak to somebody here so that they have the wisdom of how you truly feel about them. Sagittarius energy. Uh-huh, okay. So for some of you, you need to open up and heal your heart. And you need to tell somebody that you're fearful. You're fearful of falling in love, getting married again, because of what a karmic did to you. Yeah? You may not be saying it. So this person feels that uh, you don't want to give to the connection, or that you're holding back, or... You're being mysterious or you're hiding something, right? So I feel here with this situation here, you, so then, you know, out of your fear, you're putting your focus in your work and your creativity, right? And at the same time, you want to move forward. Um, you're realigning yourself. You're thinking about everything right now from start to finish, Scorpio. Okay? The good news is there's a friend that you have, that brings you a lot of happiness. And you're both grateful for each other. But like I said, you're in separation. You're not talking. 
things have to come back into balance because you're both very much attracted to each other and you both know that you're soulmates I'm just the messenger you can do whatever you want to do okay for Scorpio hmm. for Scorpio it's my job I gotta tell you what I'm seeing for Scorpio okay let's see it, 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 they won't fly out anymore because there's not too many cards so let me see they're saying this one and they're saying this one and this one and this one okay so let me start with these somebody's dreaming about you or you're dreaming about them and this is your twin flame okay I feel it's your destiny you gotta open up and talk to your empress okay you just gotta I think that's for my masculines there right um they're saying this one oh huh, yeah it's your divine feminine for sure all right next up we have this one they're saying Ooh. okay and we've got the emperor this emperor is thinking about actually traveling to his empress okay so I feel like you're waiting for a sign <laughs> to get this moving yeah maybe you feel it's not the right time yet right you're waiting for that download but I see Scorpio traveling or somebody traveling towards you okay all right let's see what animal spirit wants to say for Scorpio what clarity and guidance can we get from the angel for Scorpio for Scorpio clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio anything else angels clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio what is it we'll touch on all of these really quick and see what's going on here okay so magic works through you you know Scorpio you know no one is going to do anything and if somebody does to help you it's very rare that somebody will reach out to help you on your way you know it has to come from you to make things happen okay you know it I know I feel like you can count on one hand um, who's ever helped you in your life okay so spirits saying listen you want to you want that magic you got to make it happen Scorpio no one's gonna hand it to you very few people trust in divine detours so things are like I said happening behind the scene you can't see it with the naked eye but things will change and put you in a different direction okay so just go with the flow right and be prepared you need to set healthy boundaries though for yourself okay Scorpio with a particular individual all right it's going to be different for all of you but it's very important for you to do so and believe in yourself believe in yourself you can accomplish whatever you want I feel for a lot of you you are working and you're gathering up your money I don't know I'm just looking at that squirrel with the acorns <laughs> he's preparing for a rainy day and that's good it's really good gather up those acorns Scorpio I do <laughs> that's why they call me the squirrel that's my nickname I'm always putting something away for a rainy day right food wise <laughs> can wise <laughs> yeah it's good to be a squirrel <laughs> groundhog spirit time to let go time to let go of what no longer serves you it doesn't make any sense to be in your life anymore Scorpio it just doesn't and you you know it's really making you angry you're thinking to yourself how much time did I lose how much time do it did I invest in people that I shouldn't have invested my time in people who ended up hurting me very badly took advantage of me took from me right time to let all that go doesn't matter anymore Scorpio 
clear out the clutter that's right clear out the clutter in your house in your mind in your heart get rid of that now whatever you need to get rid of and move forward okay life is too short buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide yes yes they will especially if you believe in spirit and you come from a good heart space and you give love unconditionally you'll always be blessed Scorpio you need to know that all right Scorpio that's what I have for you I hope you enjoyed this I will see you again tomorrow and uh, I'm sending you much love and happy birthday to all my Scorpios out there okay have a terrific terrific birthday and God bless bye